The enigma behind the luminosity of gold has been deciphered by scientists specializing in energy research. Greetings, everyone. Today, we are diving into the fascinating realm of energy science. Specifically, we will be exploring the long-standing enigma surrounding gold's luminescence, a perplexing phenomenon that has left researchers puzzled for countless years. Through an in-depth analysis of ultra-thin gold films, scientists have made groundbreaking discoveries regarding quantum effects and have developed a comprehensive model of photoluminescence in metals. This remarkable breakthrough not only provides valuable insights into the behavior of electrons within metallic substances, but also unveils exciting new avenues for utilizing metals as tools to investigate chemical reactions, particularly in the realm of energy research, such as the conversion of CO2 into solar fuels. Without any further delay, let us embark on this enlightening discussion. For centuries, scientists have been aware of the phenomenon of luminescence, which involves the release of photons when a material is exposed to light. This occurrence has been observed in semiconductor materials, such as silicon. By studying the behavior of electrons at the nanoscale as they absorb and emit light, researchers can gain valuable insights into the characteristics of semiconductors. This is why semiconductors are frequently employed as tools to investigate electronic processes, including those taking place within solar cells. The year 1969 marked the momentous discovery that metals possess a certain level of luminescence. However, despite the passing years, the scientific community remained perplexed about the mechanisms behind this phenomenon. Recent advancements in nanoscale temperature mapping and photochemistry applications have sparked a renewed fascination with this light emission, reigniting the ongoing discussion about its origins. Nevertheless, the definitive answer to this enigma remained elusive until the present moment. Julia Tagliabue, the leader of the Laboratory of Nanoscience for Energy Technologies, LNET, in the School of Engineering, explains that their team has successfully created exceptionally high quality gold films. This accomplishment has allowed them to investigate the process with unprecedented clarity, free from the complications encountered in previous experiments. Researchers from the LNET team, led by Tagliabue, conducted a study that was recently published in Light Science and Applications. Their study involved directing laser beams towards gold films that were between 13 and 113 nanometers thin and subsequently examining the faint glow that was produced as a result. The level of detail and the surprising nature of the data obtained prompted the researchers to collaborate with theoretical experts from the Barcelona Institute of Science and Technology, the University of Southern Denmark, and the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, USA. Together, they utilized quantum mechanical modeling techniques to reanalyze and apply the findings from the experiments. By employing a thorough methodology, the researchers successfully resolved the ongoing dispute regarding the nature of the luminescence emitted by the films. They conclusively determined that it is indeed photoluminescence, a phenomenon characterized by the intricate interactions between electrons and their corresponding holes in the presence of light. Furthermore, their comprehensive approach enabled them to develop a groundbreaking model of this process in gold providing a comprehensive and quantitative understanding that can be extrapolated to other metals. By employing a unique method of synthesis, Tagliabue and her team conducted an investigation into the process of photoluminescence by gradually reducing the thickness of a monocrystalline gold film. Surprisingly, they discovered quantum mechanical phenomena occurring in films as thick as 40 nanometers a range where such effects are typically not observed in metals until they reach below 10 nanometers. This unexpected finding highlights the significance of our research, Tagliabue explains. By obtaining precise spatial data regarding the location of the photoluminescence process within the gold, these findings offer crucial insights necessary for utilizing the metal as a probe. Additionally, an unforeseen revelation from the research was the identification of the gold's photoluminescent Stokes signal as a means to investigate the surface temperature of the material itself, which is particularly advantageous for scientists conducting work on the nanoscale. The occurrence and conditions of chemical reactions on metal surfaces have sparked a significant controversy among experts. 
While temperature plays a crucial role, accurately measuring temperature at the nanoscale poses immense challenges since the presence of a thermometer can impact the measurement. Therefore, having the ability to investigate a material using the material itself as a probe provides a tremendous advantage, explains Tagliabu. The researchers are confident that their discoveries will enable the utilization of metals to gain unparalleled understanding of chemical reactions, particularly those relevant to energy research. The LNE, its upcoming focus will be on metals such as gold and copper, which have the ability to initiate crucial reactions, such as the conversion of carbon dioxide, CO2, into carbon-based substances like solar fuels, effectively storing solar energy in chemical form. According to the study's lead author, Alan Bowman, who is a postdoctoral researcher at LNET, it is imperative to develop technologies that can effectively convert CO2 into other beneficial chemicals in order to effectively combat climate change. In order to optimize the use of metals, it is crucial to have a comprehensive understanding of the surface reactions that occur. While using metals is a viable approach, it falls short without a thorough comprehension of these reactions. Luminescence provides a fresh perspective and allows for a deeper understanding of the processes taking place within these metals. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.